Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. I've been wanting to try Jackson's own watercolour brand for some time now, so I thought I'd get myself an interesting triad to try them out. This video is not actually going to be about that triad, that video will be coming later, but I did want to make a quick video about the quinacridone gold that I received. So as you see here, it says the pigments in the quin gold are PR101 and PR206. I thought this was just a misprint and it would be the same as the Sennelier Quin Gold, which is with those two pigments with a PY150. But what I actually received was quite different. You see the pigments are PY119, PY42 and PY83. So I went back to the Jackson's website to see if Sennelier had changed their Quin Gold formulation. Sennelier reportedly make Jackson's own brand watercolours and most colours use the same pigments or similar. So Sennelier Queen Gold uses the pigments that I was expecting, but if you look next to the Queen Gold, they have a gold ochre, which uses the exact same pigments as Jackson's Queen Gold. So does this mean Jackson's are selling Sennelier's Series 1 gold ochre as their Series 3 Queen Gold? It seems so, though I can't really complain too much as Jackson's Series 3 is still quite a bit cheaper than Sennelier Series 1. So what does Jackson's Queen Gold actually look like? Here I'm going to compare it with my favourite Queen Gold, which is from Holbein. This is a mix of PO48 and PY150. Yeah, this one has a very bright yellow undertone, which comes from the PY150. I know some people don't like it, but... For me it's not really a problem as it mixes the greens that I like. And then we have the Jacksons which is PY119, PY42 and PY83 as I said before. At first it does look pretty similar to the Holbein. Though it definitely doesn't have the bright yellow glowing undertone. Yeah, it's actually quite nice, don't you think? Yeah, definitely a bit more muted than the Holbein, but yeah, still a good Queen Gold colour, I think. So while I'm waiting for those swatches to dry, I thought I'd try and mix a green from them. Uh, it's just a simple mix with some PB28 Cobalt Blue. First, this is with the Holbein. I do really like the greens I get from this Queen Gold. It's very useful for the landscapes I like to paint. And then the mix with the Jacksons and the Cobalt Blue. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same to me. Okay, here they are when dry. Uh, looking at the two Queen Golds side by side, I quite like the Jacksons. I mean, as I said before, it's a lot more muted than the PO48 PY150 mix, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, when it comes to mixing greens, I'd say I still prefer the Holbein mix, but not by that much. It's a little bit more interesting in my opinion. But yeah, the Jacksons is perfectly usable. So what do you think about this Jackson's Queen Gold? Do you own it? Did you get this version or the PR101, PR206 and PY150 version? I'm quite looking forward to experimenting with this Queen Gold in my Jackson's Triad. Thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye bye.